Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today we have got another Dungeons & Dragons prestige class description. And today we have got a Disciple of the Eye. Now, Disciple of the Eye is an interesting one. It comes from uh, the uh, Races of the Dragon, um, right there. So, that is where it comes from. And... Uh, so let's go over what this class requires you to uh, enter. So it's got some interesting requirements. Uh, first off, uh, requires dragon blood. That one's going to be the, by far the most tricky re entry requirement. So basically, what this one's requiring is you basically have to be a kobold or a half dragon or um, a spell scale. You, you got to have draconic blood, uh, which is it really strongly restricts what races you can be. Um, I don't think Dragonborn qualifies. I could be wrong, um, since that's um, technically... That one's a whole different thing. That one's something you're not born as. You become later. Um, I mention that because that is from this book. And, yeah, I could be wrong, though. That might still qualify. Um, but I don't believe it does. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Um, um, but, uh, so, uh, the next thing, it requires you to be lawful. Okay, that's not so hard. Um, basically anyone can be lawful, uh, except for barbarians. That's about the only class I can think of that, um, doesn't allow you to be lawful, except for, like, barbarian prestige classes also don't, and s similar type things, but it's pretty just, pretty much just barbarians and barbarian-like things. Um... Actually, I think I might be slight. I think bards might have something like that, too, now that I think about it. Um, but it's not too restrictive for the most part. Um, uh, requires uh, concentration uh, at eight ranks. Maybe bards can't be. I don't remember. Bards have a weird one. Uh, anyways, uh, concentration. Uh, it requires concentration, eight ranks. Easy to get. Um, pretty much every spellcast is going to have that. Um, uh, as well as a lot of other people are going to have that as well. It's a, it's a decent skill to have. Uh, and spot eight ranks. I mean, that's just a good skill all around. Like, most people, like, you should probably uh, have spot. Like, it's not required that every character have it, but if you got spare skill points and you don't know where to throw them, spot is a great option. Um, and it's one that it, you definitely want to consider regardless, even if you decide uh, against it because uh, it doesn't really fit your build or you don't have a lot of skill points. You should have that in you should probably at least think about getting it even if you decide against it um because it's good <laughs> it's, it's a great skill no being able to know when things are around and not being caught off guard it's real nice um uh, so that's it for skills uh, it also requires the feat improved unarmed strike now anyone can take this feat it's an easy enough feat basically it just lets you fight with your fists at no penalty that's basically all that one does um, now, this class really is for monks, because Improved Unarmed Strike is something that they get for free, and they're like the only ones who get that for free. Um, also, all the stuff that they get just really fits with monks. Um, yeah, so let's go over what this class gets. Uh, so at first level, uh, well, don't really worry about that. So basically it has a good base attack, uh, sorry, an average base attack bonus. Okay, same as the monks. Um, all good saves. Again, same as the monks. The monk is one of very few classes that has all good saves. Most are going to have uh, some good, some bad. Uh, monks one of very few with all good. Um, it has a D8 hit dice. Um, and in addition, uh, your fast movement uh, and flurry of blows will stack with your monk levels. So that's good. Again, part of why this is really for monks. Um, on top of that, uh, you also get a natural armor bonus. Uh, so uh, it, this doesn't stack with the monks. It's a separate one that I guess does stack, but the levels, like you don't add your levels of this to that. Like there are two separate bonuses that stack together uh, versus the flurry of blows and fast movement where you just add the levels together and go with whatever your monk level is for that. Um, well, monk level plus, uh, 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 so yeah, your monk level plus your disciple of the eye level. All right, so now we get, now 
we're going to get into the special things that these guys get besides just more monk stuff. So they're also going to get Wandering Eye, which is interesting. So for one minute per day per level of this class, which you can get up to five levels of it, you can uh, basically create an Arcane Eye. And that, uh, you can keep that for one minute. Now, it doesn't have to be you create it and then say your fifth level, it'll last for five minutes. You can do that. Um, and that's um, one of the more ut uh, more time effective ways to do it because it takes a standard action to create it. But you can, you know, create it, use it for like a few rounds, minimum one, which that's nothing. Of course, it's going to have a minimum of one um, and gain the benefit of it. And then just be like, okay, well, I got what I need. We'll end it. And then I still have extra time. I can make another eye later. Um, so, yeah, it's just like Arcane Eye. The only difference is uh, it's shaped like a fine dragon. So that's not so bad. Um, it's a fine-sized dragon, so like a little dragon the size of a fly. Um, that's that, that's really not that big a deal. And they, they get that for free every day. Um for up to five minutes at uh, highest level. Uh, then let's see. They also get uh, frightful attack. So that one's not. That one's interesting. Basically, when they attack, uh, it's similar to the frightful presence of a dragon. So they have to make saves to, um, or be, or you know, get scared, uh, or be shaken. Not that for one to four rounds. That's it's, it's, it's pretty significant. Uh, they also have keen senses, so basically they get dark vision out to 120 feet, and they can see, uh, I think, four times as far as humans can in uh, normal lighting or in low light conditions. So, okay, that's that's decent. And uh, yeah, uh, one uh, little note is apparently if you have uh, dark vision already, uh, it will extend your dark vision to 120 feet. So, if you have uh, which so if you have like better than dark, uh, normal dark vision where it's not like grays where you can actually see color in dark, this will you'll be able to see color now up to 120 feet because this extends the dark vision. So that's a little bit of a uh, interesting uh, side note. Um, yeah, um, but beyond that, this would it just sort of replaces it. Um, you get whatever's better. Uh, then of course uh, you get glare of the dragon. So Basically, uh, you can use a swift action uh, in order to try and uh, scare someone. Or if they're already scared, um, then they might be, they'll become frightened instead. So that can be pretty useful. Uh, and then they also, at fifth level, will get blind sense, which basically just gives them 30 feet. Uh, blind sense is 30 feet, which is pretty nice. Uh, it lets you... Fight even if you can't see up to 30 feet. Pretty useful stuff. Um, so this class, really, it's designed for monks. And the cost-benefit analysis of doing this versus just sticking with monks. Well, you don't have to worry about fast movement. You don't have to worry about, um, uh, what, what was it? Um, eh. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about your flurry of blows. That's all going to be the same because your levels just add together. So that's a moot point. We don't need a... That's getting taken off the table. Now, natural armor bonus. Uh, this one you get at a second and fourth level, which I'm pretty sure is a lot faster than you get from, with your with monks. Uh, it's every other level you get one. That's not bad. So uh, you do will get a little bit more AC with these guys. The hit dice is the same, saves are the same, although of course um, the fact that you're taking uh, an extra class will make your saves a little better. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, more classes with good saves you have, the higher your saves are, uh, at least prior to 20th level. Uh, base attack bonus is average, which is actually bad um, because um, you will often lose one when multi-classing, but that's not a huge deal. Um, so, uh, the next thing, the, the thing that you really, so the things that you really lose hard are going to be, um, your damage bonus. So you do not get the damage bonus from the monks. Uh, monks, as they level up, they, they hit harder. Their punches get 
more intense and um, they do more damage. The die that they roll becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. That doesn't stack. You don't get that with this class. Um, so that's one major downside. Another major downside is you're going to lose out on all the special monk stuff, like your quivering palm, which is a big one. It's going to be, you're going to have to get into epic levels uh, to get that if you want to do both of these. So that's a bit of an issue right there. Uh, on top of that, you're going to lose all, uh, it's going to take longer to get like your abundant step and all that other good stuff. Um, so that's problematic. So Because for every level you're doing this, you're not advancing those things with the monk. But on the plus side, like I said, you do get a little more AC because this does go up faster than it does with the monk. Um, so that's good. On top of that, you're also going to get, you know, your frightful attack, uh, your wandering eyes, your keen senses, your glare of the dragon, your blind sense. You get all of that, which you don't get with the monk. So basically, you're trading off more damage and um, more uh, and all those like maneuverability type things and all the special things that monks get for better senses and being uh, and being able to frighten your opponents with your attacks and with the glare. So. Uh, the attacks can only leave them shaken, but if you leave them, get them shaken with your attacks and then hit them with the glare after, now they're frightened, that's a pretty big deal. Um, you take a lot heavier penalties for that than uh, you do with other stuff. So it's a pretty decent class all in all if you're going to be playing like a Kabold Monk or uh, a Half Dragon Monk. Not, not, a bad, uh, not a bad class to add on top of that. Now... Is a Kobold Monk necessarily a good thing? Eh, not really, but, you know, it's up to what you want to play, man. Like, if, if you want to play, uh, if that's what you're playing, then that's what you're playing, you know? So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, that's really all I have about these guys. Uh, if you like the video, please consider giving me a like. Uh, if uh, you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, maybe check the, uh, Maybe ring the bell. Uh, you know, all that standard YouTube stuff. Um, maybe share this video. That helps a lot, too. Uh, helps uh, get this video out there so more people can see it. Um, but anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing you.